is a puff ball. Picked it today. I'm going to show you all how to clean it, cut it up, and then uh, we're going to dry this because it's just too much for us to use right now. So there's several ways you can do it. You can remove the skin now or you can do it later. But for identification purposes, I'd like you people to see this. <clears throat> okay, there are some critters in there. And I don't know if you can pick that up, but there is a yellowish area. Okay, that's from the wound. The earth ball, which I don't have any. An earth ball, when you slice it in half, if this were an earth ball, and this one's getting old, okay, so it's already starting to spore out, so it's not edible. This one is. Again, if this were an earth ball, and as you can see, critters get to them, there would be a ring around the inside that would discolor into a yellow or brown. This one's a little past edible, except for the beetles. And again, this one's starting to go too. Wow, that was pretty quick. Here we go. All right, this one's in good shape. But you would watch this, if you're unsure, you would watch this for about 20 minutes and you'd start to see an outline form. That's the earth ball, which is toxic. This is the puff ball, which is edible. Okay, so we got this thing cut to here. You can remove the skin, it takes a very sharp knife, similar to peeling a tomato. It doesn't take a lot of pressure, just, just slicing it off. Okay, so we got a little bit of it cleaned here. You're going to slice it. I'm left-handed, so you'll probably miss some of this. But again, a sharp knife, a dry knife. Don't use a wet knife. Then you come out with a piece of meat-flavored marshmallow. Just place it on the drying rack. And you want these about... 3 eighths to a half an inch thick. Any thinner and they, they become really brittle and hard to deal with later. Uh, they pretty much just have to grind them up. <clears throat> but this thick, you can rehydrate them and use them similar to tofu in any of your dishes. Now these areas that have been visited, you can remove them. Just similar to removing bad spots from potatoes. And then just slice and dry. I don't mind leaving the skin on them. 
because it comes off so easily. And when they're really young, you don't even notice it. It's just totally edible. <clears throat> but one key thing, when you're drying large, thick pieces, make sure that you at least remove some of the skin on both sides. Otherwise, it will dry on the contact side with the uh, dehydrator and leave the inside soft, and they will, they will spoil. Now, after I dry them, you can, of course, freeze them. Um, vacuum seal them in plastic and freeze them, which works very well. They'll keep for a long, long time. Or you can also can them, putting them in a mason jar that's been sterilized at about 200 degrees Fahrenheit in the oven put them in there seal it but don't tighten it and then for about 10 minutes leave them in there then pull them out and just seal the jar it'll create a vacuum and they'll keep for years yeah we got another cord out mess here For those interested, this knife is an Oppenel number 10 fillet knife. Works great for this kind of job. Also works great for filleting fish.